Welcome back, guys. What you're looking at is the BTC 500 DP plasma cutter from Bestar. That was a mouthful. And it's a pretty sweet machine. Let's check it out. I'll say it's a handsome little machine. The blue and the black mesh really well together. And for being a strong machine, it's really light. The unit itself weighs about 20 pounds. This guy's set up to run on 220 volts, but you have an adapter to plug into a 110 outlet. On the back here, you have your standard on-off switch. You got your little built-in cooling fan right here. And of course, your airline hookup. And it has a built-in water separator right here. So if you get any water collecting in there, just pull that little guy down and out goes the water. Another cool feature here, guys, when you buy one of these, you get an extra air hose. You get extra tips, hose clamps, and some Teflon tape. Well, let's plug this guy in so I can show you the coolest part, which is the digital readout. And one cool feature I wanted to show you is this error message right here. If you don't have your airline plugged in, you'll get the EO5 error message, which will not allow you to use the machine. But as soon as you plug your air hose on, it goes away. Now here's that cool digital display. Now a couple interesting things here. So your amperage readout is digital right here on the side. So you crank it up, you're cutting thicker steel, you can turn up the amps, cut and thinner stuff, crank it down. And you also have a regulator right here where you can adjust your pressure. So I got it set at 44 PSI right now. I'm gonna crank her up to about 50. Now one really interesting button here is this one right here that cycles between 2T and 4T. Now when the machine's set on 2T, you pull the trigger down and it cuts. And when you take your finger off, it stops cutting. But when you're in 4T mode, you hold the trigger down, let go, and it keeps cutting so you can maneuver. And then all you got to do is press the button to get it to shut off. Now, this little guy is a strong machine capable of cutting between 3 millimeters, which is next to nothing, to 13 millimeters, which is about the thickness of the three pieces of flooring. That's pretty impressive. Now, of course, to cut something that thick, you'd have to crank this all the way up to 35 amps. So you'd have to have 220 in your garage. Or just have the good old Predator 9500 ready to rock and roll. All right, so let's do some cutting. Now, another thing you may notice, I only have this machine set to 50 PSI, which means it's not very air hungry and you can get away with using a six gallon machine like this Fortress Ultra Quiet. Now, one cool feature I really like is this protective guard on the nozzle here. This means you can put the nozzle flat down on the metal and not worry about damaging your tip, which also means if you had to use a straight edge to make a perfectly straight cut, you could clamp one down, put the nozzle down and just cut away. All right, so how does it cut? Well, I got this plate steel. It's about four millimeters thick. So let's do some cuts and see this thing in action. Got the machine set to 18 amps, 50 PSI, and I got it on 2T. Let's go, baby. All right, guys, here's that cut. I couldn't see anything at the beginning. That's why I messed up on the beginning there. But overall, a pretty nice, clean cut. And also, I'll show you, this Fortress is a 150 PSI, six gallon machine, and I only use 30 PSI to make almost a three inch cut. So if this guy's only pulling 51 PSI at a time, and this guy only dropped 30 PSI during that cut, that means you could do about a nine inch cut on this kind of thickness before the compressor would have to catch up if you're using a little baby machine like this one, which to me proves it's a pretty efficient machine, seeing as you can cut with that little guy almost a foot without running out of air while running a small compressor. Let's do one more so that cut doesn't feel lonely. <laughs> Yep, easy day there, guys. Nice, clean cut and only on 18 amps. Well, there's the BTC 500 DP from Best Arc. I think it's a fantastic little machine. I love how efficient it is with compressed air because you can run a small machine with one of these guys, which is amazing. Now, I haven't yet hooked this up to 220 volts to test out the full potential, but stay tuned and that's coming. Now, I will link this product below in the description so you can check out more details or if you want to pick one up. And if you guys have any questions, shoot them down there. I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you for watching. Go, go.